Alright, so if you look at this, let's just go back here for a second. So this this is an example of it has no hole. We don't know where it goes. But then it, so we need to obviously identify that, but then also if you look back here, this does have a hole that's sitting there. So we need to really try and work on we both of those, alright? Make sure we're respecting the next person, put it back where it belongs. I found out we're out of cleaner, so I'm taking care of that for the paint cleaner, so we'll get that taken care of. Uh, also, alright, I also want to make sure we talk about customers. Well, obviously, Aaron's is coming in today now at 1 o'clock, so they're going to be here earlier than expected. But also, the senior reader is going to be here at uh, 10 o'clock this morning, so we got to make sure, you know, we put some effort up there to make sure all the regrind and all the stuff's cleaned up, all the floors, because we're doing a lot of grinding up on 77 and 78, 77, 8, and 79, so we want to make sure it's all cleaned up, okay? We're going to be over there quite a bit. And again, uh, Brent Co. is going to be here on Monday. Uh, instead of uh, pictures for uh, improvements, I want to talk about pictures of respect. Alright, we had a couple of issues that I'd like to talk about, and I, I want everyone to understand. One is, again, respect the next person. If you find a mess, the person who walks out of the bathroom and didn't clean up the mess, it's just about the problem is the person who did, did the mess, okay? But obviously, somebody walked into the bathroom up front and all just knocked themselves down or fell down and just left it all in. Now, the, the paper towel this mess, everything's off the wall, just thrown all over the floor. So, this is not anybody that we want in the culture that we're talking about, correct? Whoever's willing to do that, it's not somebody, they probably don't want to work here, obviously that's why they're doing that, okay? So then we got to identify stuff like that. The other thing is, is it's hard to tell this picture, that's a solid door. Uh, what is two inch? By two inch solid door, somebody jammed the barrel and busted the door, over by Roy's door. Okay, so if you did it, that's fine, just let us know. That's an accident. I'm sure because it just got shoved too hard, but paint something. Don't just walk away from it. Let us know what's happening. And it's all, I mean, it's not easy to do that. It's not a hollow door where we just kick it in, okay? So those things are just called respect. The bathroom is used by more than just one person. Okay? It's, you know, let's say 75 people here could use that bathroom. So it's respecting 74 other people who ever did that, okay? So we want to make sure we're, we're understanding that. Any questions about that stuff? No, honesty, remember that's one of our core values. That's part of that, right there. Okay. Alright, so this book is about bringing your, your reality closer to the ideal of your desired future state by one, developing your people value stream to increase the value added time in which people learn and develop job and leadership skills. Two, evolving the people supporting processes so people are coached, taught, and engaged every day in continuous improvement and learning. Number three, putting in place organizational supporting processes to enable development of healthy cultures supporting the development of quality people. And then four, integrating the product value stream and people value streams through your lean production principles so you can achieve long-term competitive advantage and mutual prosperity, okay? So that's what we're talking about the human systems model. So in the summary, Toyota is known for its famed Toyota production system, and companies all over the world are working to implement the system in their organization. In most cases, the results are impressive in spots, but are overall disappointing. What they are missing is a strong human system, which for Toyota is the key ingredient to the long-term competitiveness. The technical and social systems will work together to create a culture of teams working to solve problems. The tools of production systems are designed to expose problems while the human systems are designed to attract, develop, engage, and inspire people to solve those problems. The human systems model, while not a silver bullet, is the depiction of how well all the factors come together to create the other culture. Okay, again, it's people and how to think and how to react and how to learn, right? Number eight ways is potential ways, uh, potential knowledge, right? Ways to potential, excuse me. So we've got to make sure we're using that. 